What is up my original bacons and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops 4 gameplay. The map is payload, the game mode is S and D and it is league play again. Now it's not the exact it's not the same or the exact same uh, gameplay that I used the other day for my back video. This is complete different. This is new gameplay. Well, not really that new, but uh, I think I go 15 to 7 in it, which is fairly good RA for S and D anyway. And yeah, let's get right into it. So, as you can see from the title of this video, it's basically everything we know about Modern Warfare Online, well, the multiplayer. So that's what I want to talk about. So everything in this video is all about the multiplayer for the game. And this is all the confirmed things that we will be seeing in Modern Warfare. So let's get right into it guys. So the first thing that we will be talking about is crossplay. So crossplay has been confirmed for Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. This is something the COD community has been asking for for quite some time. Especially PC players because I know that... Uh, after some time after the launch maybe two or three months in it actually goes stale for the PC players and there's not many people that play it then after and it kind of just dies off but with crossplay this brings up a lot of questions like how are they going to put into the game especially PC players versus console players like are we all just going to be thrown into the same pool and it doesn't matter uh, what you're on, we'll all end up in the same lobby, is it? Are we going to be in the same lobby? Or will it be like Fortnite where PC players have their own player pool? And if you're a console player and want to play with your PC friends, then you will be put into the same pool as them. So you'll be on PS4, but your friends are on PC, they be playing against PC players. You will be playing against PC players, which kind of leads you at a disadvantage because PC, everyone knows PC is just a superior race and it probably will be the same in Call of Duty as well when it does do this. But, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, I'm kind of glad that they have crossplay. As, as of now, anyway, we don't know how they're going to do the crossplay, but hopefully we get more information leading up to the game's release and another question that's brought up with crossplay are we going to have the same structure infrastructure that we have been seeing in Call of Duty the last few years or will we be using something like Microsoft's Azuru servers which are basically like top notch servers instead of having the shitty servers that we have now basically that are kind of like oh if he pulls host he he's the best like he just fucking wins everything i know people are saying oh well it's not that way now it, there's no host and shit like that i think there is because there's a lot of people that are still going off and they be lagging around the place and everything like that and it's just bullshit okay next something that is big for the call of duty franchise is the season pass now in recent years we've had to pay for the season pass where we could get maps and whatever else comes with making call of duty more money but now we won't be getting the traditional season pass so we could still be paying for something that is the season pass but hopefully it's just kind of cosmetics because they have confirmed that all of the maps for Modern Warfare will be for free. Which is good, good news, right? It's good news. I like it. That's good. People are happy about this. And I thought this kind of would happen in Black Ops 4 as well. Because I feel like Treyarch are uh, kind of the people that listen more to the community. Like Infinity War, they don't really listen to the community, to be honest. If they did, they wouldn't have did... Uh, wasn't Advanced Warfare, was it? I think uh, I can't remember what game it was, but they kind of just made a, a terrible game and everyone hated it. And uh, however, this now raises a question: How many maps will we be getting when the game launches October twenty fifth? Do we get 
same number of maps that we've been getting for the last few years? Or will it be less? Will it be like, say, 10, 12, and we get more during the year? Might get 10 more or something makes it 20? You don't really know, to be honest, how, how it's going to work out. Of course, we won't know more until we get closer to the time of release and then we'll of course we'll get more information about call of duty and about the season pass hopefully as well or the traditional season pass and the free season pass however with crossplay you think okay that means that content will be released on the same day for everyone but that's a no if you're a pc player Good news, or a PS4 player, I don't know why it's a PC either. If you're a PS4 player like me, then good news. You get the content first, a whole seven days, basically a week so, before everyone else does. At least it's seven days to a week, right? Not, uh, not 30 days, basically a month like. Which, in my mind, is good because then you have just a lot of uh, people just going from... The likes of PC and Xbox just to get this kind of stuff. So, like, say YouTubers that l love to play Xbox would actually just move over to PS4 just maybe for that month just to play it. And then once it comes out again or it's released for everyone, then they'll just go back to Xbox, which, you know, it's kind of bad. But another big change to next year's Call of Duty is we won't have specialists, which were introduced in, I think it's Black Ops 3? I want to say Black Ops 3. Yeah, Black Ops 3. Uh, Modern Warfare will be more classic style of Call of Duty, but we know we will be getting operator packs. So we have three operator packs. This is for pre-order bonus for cosmetic purposes. But, of course, we'll still have the three operator packs. So, the first one is Crew Expendable, All Gillied Up, and War Pig. Now, if you think of the names and you hear these names, you think, Oh, these are like paying homage to the missions in Modern Warfare, in the Modern Warfare game. Which, to be honest, some of them were just really iconic and really fucking good. Of course, there is another game mode coming to Modern Warfare, which is basically, everyone's basically saying it's like Spec Ops, but we heard that it isn't, but we really don't know so far much about this game mode, so hopefully it's fun and enjoyable, and we'll just have to hold out till we actually find out what it's going to be about. You know, Spec Ops I found was fun when you're kind of playing with your friends or just one of your friends because I had so many friends and I still do, I think. I, I don't really know. I'm sad alone. I need friends. But it was fun. Like, I love to, do, to play these kind of things and I thought Modern Warfare 3 did a great job of putting these in. Now, of course, there was some kind of like wave one, wave two, and everything like that, and then juggernauts would come and just like they'd be like fucking your shit up, fam, which was fun. It was always fun playing them, but then they got bored after a time because you're like, oh, like, is that it? There's nothing else. So hopefully they kind of add new things to this, like the spec ops or whatever the game mode is. They could easily like add spec ops, but then kind of do a battle royale to it as well. Hopefully, you never know really, you never really know. But yeah, that's it guys. One more thing that I want to talk about, this kind of just a rumor that everyone has been going on about and it's huge and if this is this is real then it's gonna really fuck with Call of Duty, I think personally. So the rumor that's going around is that they are saying that there won't be a mini map. Now as you can see on the screen right now, well you could was there is a mini map to the top left now it's always been to the top left i think i think one time it was moved to the bottom left or to the right somewhere i can't fully remember but i remember something like that or i was seeing a picture of it or something like that and i was like oh my god this is weird 
and the only way you're gonna get a mini map is basically by earning a UAV which I kind of hope this isn't true because like that would just be so bad for Call of Duty because everyone knows well anybody that's good at the game knows most of the time you're looking at your mini map to see where players are and to see if you can get the drop on them and of course in this one you can you can actually see if you look a certain way uh, players will come up on your mini map so that's kind of good as well but ah, you know hopefully hopefully it's not true because if it is it's, it's just terrible basically it's just damn right terrible but yeah that's it guys i hope you guys like favorite and subscribe and peace